Jordan says tips for managing time during dental school for new dental students. To all of you who ask about time management, I will just refer you to the video that I'm about to create on the topic. Basically in that video, I plan to talk about how I, how I get everything done in dental school. So stay tuned for that video. It should be out within like the next week. All right, all right, yep, yep, yep. I was definitely, yep, I'm definitely a few weeks late on this topic, but I did promise, so it's time to finally make this video. Hello everyone, my name is Steven. I am a first year dental student, almost a second year dental student, by the way, that's about to change pretty soon. And today I wanna to finally talk about something that I promised to talk about a few videos ago. As you saw from that clip from my 1000 subscriber q and I, I briefly touched on the topic of time management, but I sort of said I will get to that in, in a full video where I can expand upon my thoughts and just give you a better answer than I can here. So today it's time to kind of talk about what I think are some really important principles to manage your time well and be successful during your time in dental school. So before I fully get into this, I wanted to just kind of introduce the idea of why I think this, this subject is important to me. So I'm obviously a first year dental student. I spend quite a bit of time, pretty much all day, every day at this desk working on my schoolwork. And then I also have all of our lab work, which I'll get into in a bit as well. But I also recently in the past couple of months took a job with bootcamp.com working to develop a video series on dental anatomy and tooth ID. So I've been working for bootcamp every single week um, since I think late January, early February, sometime around then developing that video course. So that added something to my plate. I also have this YouTube channel. I make videos here every single week covering, you know, dental school and the things that I do around dental school, just kind of like this video. I also have my friends and my family and they are obviously extremely important to me. So with all of that said, I have tons of things that fill my schedule each day. And to be completely honest with you, before I get into the details, I'm not the greatest at time management. I, I'm probably not the greatest example of this, but I have learned a lot in all of my years of going through school and taking on new responsibilities about how to use my time wisely and just in general about how important time really is and how precious it is. This video is really geared towards dental students, but I think that if you're a pre-dental student and you're in undergrad, these principles that I talk about will affect you as well because at that point in undergrad, it's a really good time to start kind of driving home the things that you do well and don't do well, and to start learning the good practices that will help you succeed so that one, you can help yourself get into dental school, and two, when you get to dental school, the adjustment isn't going to be very difficult and you'll be able to succeed pretty well. I think that there are three elements for success in, in dental school, and, and actually really uh, for any endeavor, but we'll, we'll, once again, we'll gear this towards dental school. The first is discipline. And discipline isn't really something I've talked a whole lot about on this channel, but I think it's, it's definitely a quality that comes from within and it's something that we all strive for we all want to be disciplined we all want to have that inner uh, feeling of drive and motivation every day when we wake up so i think that's the first step the second step is motivation motivation something i've talked about before on this channel uh, that's something i struggle with from time to time i think discipline and motivation can kind of go hand in hand at times I think being disciplined gives you motivation, but I also think that you can derive motivation from other outside areas or resources that kind of getting into a different discussion. So there's your first two things. And the third thing is time management. If you can be motivated and you can be disciplined, the next thing is to manage your time well and to use your time effectively. So with those three pillars in mind, I wanna get into another three item list here and kind of discuss three things that are three tips that I have for managing your time in dental school. So the first tip for better time management in dental school is organization. I think organization is incredibly important. Um, it takes time to organize. So when you approach a day, it takes you time to figure out how you're going to weave in and out of the items that you have to get through that day. That time that it takes, that mental energy, that time that, you're that you spend sitting there trying to figure it out, it's really good to go ahead and lump all of that together and try to put it on the top end of things. So let's speak about this broadly and then we'll get a little bit more specific. I like to have sort of an idea of how my semesters are going to be scheduled. I made a video about this back in, I think December before this semester started, where I just talked about kind of organizing my life, getting everything ready. I use Notion and Anki as my two like main areas on the computer to, to kind of get through my studying. I go through and really get organized on the top end so that when I get down to the nitty gritty, 
I'm already organized and I don't need to spend that mental energy to get to that point, I'm already there. So it's good to have sort of a semester plan, a semester outline of, of how things are gonna break down for your coursework and for your lab work. And then taking this a step further, I think organizing week to week is extremely important. One of the things that I like to do, which I'm always trying to get myself to do, is to actually set up a schedule for all of my exams. So for me at this point in dental school, we are still online. So it's on me to kind of figure out how I'm gonna get through all of the lectures that will be represented on each exam. So what I like to do is set up some sort of loose schedule that allows me to every day wake up and see, okay, I have three lectures to get through today. And with that, I can kind of plan my day around that. It's also nice because when you schedule like this, you won't really ever have to worry about not getting everything done, assuming you follow your schedule. When you sit down beforehand and you outline everything, there's really no way to mess something up because you're sitting there with your syllabus and you know what's coming. And as long as, like I said, you follow your schedule every day, you'll get through all the things that you need to get through and you'll be successful in the long run. I once heard Karma Medic talk in a video about how he literally schedules everything down to like taking breaks in his day and I think he talked about walking to the refrigerator and like how long that takes. That's another level of scheduling, but I do think scheduling your day can be really important. I've been talking a lot about school and how I like to schedule my lecture time and my lab time and all that. But something else that, like I said, I do is my job with boot camp. So I know that I need to make roughly six videos for boot camp each week. I know now having made, I think over 30 or 40 of them how long each video takes me. And so each week I can kind of plan out my time that's necessary for working for boot camp. And that's just another thing that I can add to my schedule, be more organized and know that it's Tuesday night and I need to put in like two hours tonight, for example. And once again, going back to the Karma Medic thing, it can be kind of weird, but you really can schedule everything. So even social interaction, time with your family, you can write those down and put them on a schedule. Not everybody functions in the same way, but sometimes having things on paper or on you know a device really helps us to not feel that stress of i don't really know what's coming and i feel like i'm not organized when you have everything organized everything's in front of you you don't have to worry about not getting everything done and ultimately you will save time so the second tip for time management in dental school is a classic saying that i've heard so many people say and that is to work smarter not harder i think sometimes especially when it comes to using programs like anki for example we tend to get really wrapped up in how much time we spend working. Let's say we spend three hours making Anki cards. Well, we can sit back at the end of the day and be like, wow, I spent three hours doing that. I really got a whole lot done. But at the end of the day, if you learned nothing, you're not a single step closer to being successful because on the exam, they're not gonna ask you how long you spent on that random Wednesday making Anki cards. They're gonna ask you specific questions and it's your duty to learn the topics. So I think working smarter, not harder is actually a really good piece of advice because at times there actually are shortcuts or maybe shortcuts isn't a great word, but there are things that we can do to save time that will allow us to ultimately be more successful. I recently made a video about how I save time within Anki. If you use Anki like I do, check that video out. It'll help you save a little bit of time and, and be more effective with your time. But there are other things that you can do to just kind of cut down on the time that you spend doing these menial tasks. Ultimately, what matters for school is comprehension of your topics and whatever it takes to get to that point is what you need to be doing. If you're more effective on your exams, having watched YouTube videos, for example, than sitting down and reading through notes, watch the YouTube videos and do it that way. Don't sit there and read through notes because that's the classic thing that everybody does to study. Figure out what you do well and what you do successfully and then do that and save time by not doing all the other stuff that people talk about is really good for school because you're just kind of wasting your time and spinning your wheels. And I also think that over time, you'll become a lot more efficient with just school in general. So don't be uh, too concerned if you're not to that point already. Before I talk about the final thing, I just wanna thank you all for watching and thank you all for being along for the ride of this YouTube channel. I'm so pumped that there are people who actually enjoy watching this channel and I'm really, really excited to see how this community continues to grow. So no more of that, let's get into the last thing. So the last thing that I wanna talk about in this video for time management is actually kind of something I've talked about in the past, and that is to use your lab time wisely. In dental school, we spend a lot of time in our labs. So preclinical labs, where we essentially learn the hands-on skills that are necessary to 
propel us forward in our careers as dentists. We spend a lot of time doing that. At the same time, we have a full dental school curriculum of courses that we're responsible for. So at times it feels a little frustrating because it's like, I don't really have time for this lab stuff. I need to be studying. I have all these lectures to get through. But lab is arguably more important because that's the place where you learn the hand skills that you're actually going to use in a few years as a dentist. So it's really important that we use all of the time that we're given in lab and we use it wisely. I can almost guarantee you this will happen to you when you go to dental school, but there's going to be a point when you're in a lab and you've finished everything that you're supposed to finish for that day's lab and you're sitting there and you're like, wow, I have a couple of physiology lectures to get through. I have a couple of operative lectures to get through. I have this and that. And you'll talk yourself into leaving that lab, going home and just doing whatever. I'm gonna encourage you now to stay in lab for as long as you can that day and try to go ahead and work ahead. Now, I'm kind of a hypocrite saying this because there's been multiple times where I've been that guy that I described earlier. I'll be sitting there, I'll finish all my preps that I had to do for that day, and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I have so much work to do. I'm just gonna go ahead, head home, and start getting to work on all that stuff. But then two weeks down the road, I'm in lab again, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so behind because this one prep took me an hour and a half and I screwed it up and had to start over. And now I'm behind on all my signatures and I'm freaking out. Lab time is kind of precious. So use it wisely and work ahead if you can. This kind of goes for lecture as well. If you can work ahead in any point, go ahead and do it. I promise it'll help you. But once again, to drive this point home, use the time that they give you wisely. I promise it, it really is important to try to work ahead and it'll help you out in the long run. And also too, like I said earlier, it's not always just about getting your, your assignments checked off. A lot of it is actually getting better at your hand skills, getting better at the dentistry that you're gonna be doing for literally the rest of your career. I have been rambling for far too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Like I said, I wanted to expand upon my thoughts for time management because it's something that I still am learning about with myself. I'm still adding new responsibilities to my schedule seemingly every day. I'm now doing some things with pre-dental students across the country and and kind of showing up to some Zooms and things, which are also taking up time. And of course I have boot camp and school and friends and everything. So my plate is always full and I'm sure that yours is as well. I'm gonna encourage you to keep working hard and keep chasing your dreams. I promise this hard work, all this that you're going through will pay off in the long run. You know, I'm still struggling with that myself day to day. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so much to do. I don't really wanna do it but in the long run, it will pay off for all of us. Thank you all so much again for watching. I'm so blessed by each of you and I'm really excited for some of the things that I have coming up. There's some really cool guests that I'll have in the, uh, in the next couple episodes of the Teeth Time podcast, which I've been working on and I'm really pumped about. So check out the episodes of Teeth Time that are already out and hopefully those will get you excited for what's coming. I truly appreciate all of you. And as I always say, I'll see you in the next video.